scraps, scraps, scraps everywhere. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I use the fabric scraps from my fashion business to make a designer lampshade. Hi, I hope everyone's been having a good week so far and I hope you have been enjoying my videos. For those who don't know me, I'm Sini, I'm a fashion and textile designer and I have a fashion business. In my business I know how much fabric is wasted all the time. Even with smart fabric use there's always little bits left behind and you always have to buy that little bit extra fabric just in case you don't run out. I have been saving these textile scraps from my production process, so I want to show you different ways I can use those scraps. In this episode I'm going to show you how I can make a designer lampshade. You don't have to sew anything and it's fairly quick to make. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So what you need for this project you need all the lampshade making parts. So I have purchased a lampshade making kit. This kit is for 30 centimeter diameter lampshade and you can get them in different sizes. You can get them smaller, bigger and different shape. Just depends what you need. So what the kit includes is the utility ring, a metal ring, double-sided tape, finishing tool and then the PVC. And then what you need, you need either a fabric cutter or scissors, and then you need your iron piece of fabric. These lampshades are suitable for pendant ceiling lamps or floor or table lamps. The best fabrics for this project are cotton or linen, and the fabric needs to be woven fabric. So don't use any jersey or any knitted fabrics or anything with stretch. This one here is a cotton and silk mix. The lampshades I show you before, they are made of silk. I think silk is a bit more flimsy than the cotton. So cotton would be easier fabric to use. And don't use anything too heavy like a wool or tweed because it might be difficult to finish it nicely. So this is 30 centimeter diameter lampshade and how big the PVC is is 97 centimeters by 24 centimeters so that is 38 inches by 9.5 inches. So you will need a fabric that is larger than your PVC. So you have to have your fabric wrong side facing up and then you put your PVC on top the opposite way so the PVC has the sticky side on the back. So first I'm going to think about the placement where I want to place this PVC and when I'm happy with my placement I'm going to take this backing off. So now I'm going to take the backing off. Peels off like that. So I'm going to just first do it little bit by little bit. First I need to place this in the right place. So I'm doing it in small sections so I can get all the air bubbles out. So 
Next, I need to look if there's any creases on the fabric or any wrinkles. So this looks all fine, all smooth, no wrinkles. If there would be any creases, I could just take off the PVC and then put it back on from that point. Next, I'm going to cut all the excess fabric around the lampshade. So now it's been all cut and I need to take off this edge, this, this kiss cut of the PVC. So, if, so I first snap it back like that and then I peel it off. When I'm taking this off, I need to be careful not to fray the fabric too much. So I have to be quite careful not to Pull it so it will fray the fabric. So I'll cut these bits off. I've quite frayed a bit. And now I repeat the same thing on the other side. Now I will attach the double-sided tape to one of the edges. So you need to do it right on the edge. I'll take off the backing of the tape now. Now I need to attach the double-sided tape onto the rings. And I leave a tiny gap here between so I don't overlap the tape so it's easier to peel off. So now I just need to wrap this tape around this ring evenly and I need to, I'll just do it all over. So it just needs to cover the whole ring. And now I do the same thing on the other ring. And the same thing, I'm going to press this tape all around. Now I'm going to take off the backing of the double-sided tape. And same on the other one, I'm going to take off the backing. So now I have two sticky rings. Because I have a directional print, so this part needs to be on the bottom, um, I'm going to have to put this ring on this side because this is only suitable for table or standing lamp. So I only have a one direction for this because it's directional print. If I would have a print that is not directional, I could just use it as a ceiling lamp or a, or a standing lamp. 
this bit here needs to be inside of the lampshade. So first I start by putting this ring on right on the edge of the PVC there. I'll start from the edge. I need to do this both together at the same time so I just right, put it right on the edge of the PVC. And now I roll it. So I'm going to do the edge. If I would have a seam roller I could use it here but I don't have one so I'm just using my fingers but I need to be careful not to dent the lampshade so not to use too much pressure when I'm doing this. So it's all nice and neat now. So I need to make a little snip here where the utility ring has this so I can actually fold the fabric then. So now I'm going to just fold the fabric edge inside. Same thing on the top. Tight as possible. going to use the finishing tool to put the fabric behind the utility ring to finish it off nice and neat and it actually makes this cracking sound and that's a good thing that's when the the tape is actually releasing from the PVC and making space to put the fabric in. So I'm just going to continue the rest of the way. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side now. I'm going to finish the edge off. So now the lampshade is finished and all the edges are looking beautiful. 
rolled hand finished edges. It's looking all neat and pretty. So it's, we are all done now. How cool is that? And now I have this beautiful professional looking lampshade. My lampshade is ready now. How great is it looking? I'm so pleased with it. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you learned something new. Please like it if you liked it and comment below. How do you use your fabric scraps? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!